Hi, this is Bob Lessick at Johns Hopkins. This lecture will cover databases of protein signatures and go over some terminology. We will start with a few definitions and then focus on patterns, qualitative representations of conserved protein regions. Because patterns are qualitative, there are no E values to quantify. And there are two ways to match a pattern exactly and almost. Profiles are quantitative and patterns are qualitative. A signature is what the profile or pattern is trying to represent. It's a conserved region of a protein. A motif is usually short, often less than 20 amino acids. There can be secondary structure associated, such as helix turn helix. Domains are usually longer, often globular regions within a protein. Small proteins may have only one domain. A domain is usually over 40 amino acids, but there are no hard agreed upon rules, and sometimes these definitions overlap or may not be used consistently. Here are a few databases of protein signatures. PFAM is based on hidden Markov models, or HMMs, and are quantitative. The SMART database is also based on HMMs. Interpro is a database with a search mechanism for searching other databases, including PFAM and SMART. ProSite has both patterns and profiles. The patterns use regular expressions, and the profiles use the position-specific scoring matrix, or POSSUM. Not all databases use their definitions in the same way. Interpro categorizes protein families and notes that families might share domains or other protein signatures. Domains are clearly defined as independent structural units. A repeat might need several copies to make up a single domain. SMART is even more specific on its domain definition, a globular region with a hydrophobic core. Domain organization refers to the order in which domains appear in a protein. Note that shared domains, by the SMART database definition, are homologous. Shared motifs might not be related and are short conserved regions not necessarily homologous. Think of it this way, a helix turn helix motif is relatively easy to build and can be achieved with unrelated proteins. A profile is defined quantitatively. It's not mentioned here, but SMART uses the hammer program to build HMMs to represent domains or motifs. You should see that although the definitions may not be consistent and may overlap, one thing is consistent. We are describing conserved regions of proteins. Those are regions that are less tolerant to amino acid changes. Sometimes the sequence similarity is too short for BLAST to pick up. In the case of short motifs, we have seen how non-homologous proteins might have a similar motif. That would be really tough to detect in a similarity search. Patterns and profiles are based on multiple sequence alignment, so the quality of the alignment is critical. To summarize, patterns qualitatively represent motifs, and profiles are quantitative. The regular expression is used to qualitatively describe a protein's signature. Much of this is covered in the video lecture on the ProSite database, but it's worth going over again. One particular phosphorylation motif phosphorylates serine or threonine that is near a positive charge. The pattern is serine or threonine in the first position, followed by any amino acid in the second position, 
followed by arginine or lysine, the positive charge, in the third position. This pattern is short and can happen by chance, even in regions that are not substrates of the phosphorylating kinase protein. Here is a sample regular expression. And the translation is E, glutamic acid, in the first position, followed by any two amino acids. That's what X2 means. So in the fourth position comes either F, H, or M, phenylalanine, histidine, or methionine. The next four positions can have any amino acid. And then in the ninth position, it can be any amino acid except proline. P in braces means not P. Leucine is in the tenth position. Sometimes you will encounter notation like X2, 4. That means a stretch of any amino acid that is between two and four residues in length. That's often seen in loop regions of proteins, where the length of the loop can vary a little. If you use a sequence to search a database of patterns, and if you use exact matching, then every positive result should contain the pattern exactly as it is written. The fuzzy matching technique allows for a slight deviation from a rigidly described pattern. Because it is more permissive, that increases the number of results and increases the chance of false positives. In other words, it makes it easier to match a pattern by random chance. Again, patterns are qualitative, and since E values are quantitative, you get no E values from patterns. However, short patterns that are easy to match by chance often contain warnings that the matched pattern is a frequently matched pattern. It's like a bad E value. Don't assume that it's a false positive. Almost all proteins match some kinase pattern. There are many short kinase patterns. Some of those matches do correspond to phosphorylated regions. Others don't. Here is an example of a domain or motif. Here is the zinc finger domain. Usually it's called a domain, but by size, it's closer to a motif. There are four important amino acids, two cysteines and two histidines. Three of one and one of the other often works as well. Those four amino acids surround and bind a zinc ion. That structure allows the protein to align with the major group of DNA. Many, but not all, DNA binding proteins have this motif. The leucine zipper is found in some DNA binding proteins. The helices are held together by leucines at every other turn of the helix. Since there are close to 3.5 amino acids per turn, there are about 7 amino acids in two turns of an alpha helix. In this structure, leucine occurs every seventh amino acid. Leucine is sticky and often interacts with other leucines. That allows these two helices to be held together in a zipper-like manner. So if leucine is every seventh amino acid, the pattern is easy to describe. L, followed by any six amino acids, followed by L, followed by any six amino acids, followed by L. Signature is the term for a conserved region of a protein, usually associated with some purpose. A signature can describe a domain or motif. Generally, motifs are smaller, domains bigger. And regular expressions can qualitatively describe a pattern. Keep that in mind as you search profile and pattern databases.